Let's make a snow crab and wagyu sendo. First step, we'll do the best mayo using my favorite, the QP Japanese mayo. You can also make it homemade if you want. Uh, we'll also add some caviar, some chives, some lemon zest and juice, and that's pretty much it. So mayo in here. Next, we'll do lemon zest. Make sure you wash your lemons all the time, guys. Juice of half a lemon. Next up, some fresh chopped chives. If you don't have chives, you can use parsley or even green onions will be nice in there. Chives in. And next, we'll do some salt and pepper, obviously. Salt, not too much, just wanna add caviar to this afterwards. Oh, someone's been in there. It's probably me actually, yeah. So we'll dump this entire thing of caviar right in there. Oh yeah, baby. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Look at this mayo, glorious mayo. Oh my God. Okay, so mayo can go in there for now. Now, it's time for the Wagyu. We're gonna bread this in panko. And we have this beautiful piece of Wagyu here. We have to figure out the size of our Wagyu here. So I have this beautiful mill bread. So I kind of like, I wanna do like a big sando, but I might just uh, trim some of the edges so it's like the perfect size. And then when, once you add the breading, it's gonna add a bit of thickness to it. So I think I'm just gonna kind of chop off this fat here and here and keep this for later. So I'm just gonna cut this part like this. Oh my God, it's like butter, all things ba. Okay, now before we get to the breading, oh shit, it's like a blessing before with pepper. We're gonna season that wagyu with some salt and some pepper. You could also just season your flour, but I like to get like a better idea of how much salt and pepper I need for this piece of beef. I'm gonna kind of like pat it in there. Just tap, tap, tap. Okay, now strain the flour like this. You can also use a bigger container. But you know, it'll work. Make sure you have flour all over the place. Just make sure, make sure the eggs are gonna stick to the beef. There you go. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's a light coating of flour, perfect. And then straight in the egg. And then straight in the breadcrumb. And then just grab this like that. Just want to tap it down. Make sure there's panko everywhere. Okay, breading station complete. Now we can put this in the fridge until we need to fry it. Okay, time for the crabs. We have a big pot of boiling water. We're gonna add a bunch of salt. This needs to taste like the ocean, so go crazy. It's a big pot. And we're also gonna add some lemons. I have this, this old lemon from earlier here. Squeeze it, just drop it in there. Bring it back to a boil. Make sure you, you know, just say a little thank you for giving your life for us to feast on the big, crazy, next level sendo, so. No way. Yeah? Actually? My friends, the crabs here, just told me, if you don't subscribe to the channel right now, you are getting crabs, you are getting crabs, and you are getting crabs, so go subscribe. Thanks, buddy. See ya. And see ya. Hey Siri, set a timer for my friends at crabs for 12 minutes, please. Yeah, it worked. It says my friends, my friends crabs. <laughs> my friend, my friends gonna have crabs in 12 minutes, guys. Okay, it's been 12 minutes, the crab's good to go. I have a big bowl of ice water there. Okay, cool, that's perfect. Okay, crabs are fully cooled down. Put them here for now, and now it's time to get cracking. Okay, now we're just gonna separate the legs and the body, so just crack it like this. A little twist. It's gonna leak everywhere, it's fine, you know? It's just the water in there, the juice. The heads we're not gonna use today, you can keep those for like, uh, 
for a stop maybe, clean them up. Um, but for today, we're just gonna put them aside. Now, time to get cracking. We're gonna get just some nice sections here. I wanna cut a tip like this, then like that. Oh, Juicy Lucy. So I'm just gonna prep all of these for now. Oh, fucking barnacles. Okay, so now we have all our sections separate. It's gonna be easier to work with. We have the knuckles here. We have the lower legs, the upper legs, and the claws. So we'll start with these. Now this trick doesn't always work. Let's see if it works. First try, baby, let's go. See, this technique always fucking works. Always works. Always works. Moving on to the claws. It's almost impossible to get the full claw out at once. I've never done it myself. I always kind of like separate when you crack it here. Oh, there you go. That didn't work, perfect. And then what you can do is just kind of like crack it like this. Oh, there you go, destroyed it, perfect. And then you can just kind of like scoop it out with your finger. I have a little chopstick here that works too. There you go, push it out. It's always kind of hard. And the legs, the, the claws are very flaky, I guess. Make sure you get the cartilage out of there. All right, now moving on to the knuckles. It's like the tree, the shittiest part to do, but it's also the best meat, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just gonna crack all of these first like that. Also get some better scissors than these uh, kindergarten scissors. Definitely not a bad idea. So here, just kind of like use the chopstick like that here and just get the meat off. There's not much in there, but it's worth picking for sure. You know, crab is a delicacy. It's a very short season, so might as well get everything out of it. And now for the legs, this trick doesn't always work, but when it does, it's very satisfying. So basically just gonna like get this here separate and then use a rolling pin and hopefully See? You get this much meat out of the legs, and that's also very precious meat. So now we're gonna chop some beautiful crispy iceberg, super thin, and a beautiful chiffonade. So I wanna get the core out of there, and then what I wanna do is kind of like take some leaves, some layers like that, separate, and we're gonna roll this into a beautiful blunt, and then we're just gonna chop this super fine. The best lettuce in the world, you know? Doesn't taste like much, but it's super crispy. Okay, it's time to fry this big old Wagyu steak. Pack it up even more, just to make sure. Okay, and then straight in the fryer. Always against you, so you don't splash yourself. And now we wait. Okay, it's been three minutes. That should be good to go. Okay, let's take this bad boy out of there. Oh my God, look at this. And now immediately we're gonna hit this thing with some salt. Oh wow, look at this, isn't that beautiful? We're gonna start sending our sandwich and then we're gonna cut this thing and see how beautiful the inside is. Now for the bread, I'm gonna cut both tips off. This is a beautiful milk bread, not Japanese, but you know, that's what I found today. And these obviously we can keep for later. I wanna cut also the top part off. Perfect. And then we're gonna cut this in half. So it goes as even as possible, like not what I'm doing right now. Boom, there you go, that'll be our sando. Okay, we're gonna put these in the oven to toast. No need for butter, because we always see have uh, lots of fatty components coming in there, so just nice and golden brown. Boom. Oh yeah. Beautiful golden brown, nicely toasted. Look at this. Okay, now, time to assemble. Beautiful mayo here with the caviar. Put a generous amount, you know. Has to be saucy. Look at this. How beautiful is this, guys? Go edge to edge. Mayo, done. Now, the big boy. Put this right on top here like this. And then we need the crab. Gonna start with the, with the pick meat like this. Just 
over the place kind of yeah there you go there you go Let's spread that out spread that out and then we're gonna go with the nice little leg parts it's been fucking amazing guys you know like, I'm a little excited for this one now we're gonna hit this thing up with the iceberg lettuce and like a good amount of lettuce on my fucking sandals and then oh boy oh my god look at this look at this beauty at this point some people would like even cut the crust off to make it super clean but you know what we're not gonna do that because i want to keep this thing kind of intact so i'm gonna start with a first cut in the middle like this so just kind of hold it down at the same time Hopefully it's going to be a beautiful cross section, guys, just for you. I'm going to try to plate this in a nice way. I'm going to put these, oh my God, like this, and then one like this, one like this, one more right here. Now, guys, my favorite part of every single episode, it's tasting time. No for today. That kind of works. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. Oh yeah. Oh mama. Look at this guys, you know? It's like a katsu sando on fucking steroids. See? Beautiful caviar mayo, some crab, some some wagyu. What else do you need? That camera, that camera, that camera. Alright, guys, I'm going in. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh my God. This might be the craziest sando. Mm. Hey, Owen Han, I'm coming for you, buddy. You know, that's a fucking Sandwich King sandwich right there. Not saying you're not the king, but you know, that's a fucking sando. Mm. 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 You can still taste the crab. Mm. The doneness of the Wagyu is perfect. It melts in your mouth, nice crunchy. The caviar brings a nice little brandiness to it. And the bread is just amazing. Mm. Mm. And here it is, guys. Make sure you go like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me put between two pieces of bread in the next video. We'll see you next time on Always Hungry.